What's up gamers? Hey, once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Game and Rebirth the Alt channel. So what do we have today? We have amazing news for our 3.60 users. We have a major update for Adrenaline. So today we're going to be installing Adrenaline version 3, the best update yet. Also, Freakler updated his Adrenaline easy installer version 1.07. It's just making our lives way easier. I mean, these guys are our heroes. We should put them on a pedestal. The flow, Freakler, thank you so much. This is amazing for every gamer out there. It just makes our life way easier. So just remember to donate to these guys. So what do we need? We will need a PlayStation Vita on former 3.60 with Hankaku installed. Also, Vita Shell installed. Now. In order to enable the USB setting, press start to launch the main settings in Vita Shell. And then we're going to select under the button field USB. And once we exit out the main settings, pressing O, we press select to launch a USB mode. It should be very simple. We're also going to need the Adrenaline EC installer version 1.07 VPK. I'll leave this in the description. As for the installation, Remember to download the file from the developer's github and install or go to the description. We're also going to be uninstalling the old adrenaline file and install the new one as well. We'll go and test the adrenaline and verify some settings. Remember the links are in the description. Remember check my twitter guys. Enjoy gamers. So a shout out to Hack Informer also comes out with great news, great articles. I'm going to leave this link here so you guys can read a little bit more on what the new update brings us for us users in 3.60. So a lot of major changes. Uh, one great one was also to use the USB within Adrenaline. We'll see that example. It also shows how to install Adrenaline so they have a good uh, tutorial in there so I will suggest you guys see it so now I'm just you, you don't really need this file but I'm just gonna download it just in case if in the future I might need it so I had already downloaded the file so I'm gonna download it again I mean doesn't hurt to have it twice but just to show the example that the link works so remember to check the flows to github it also gives you more information also remember to donate to the flow he has done a great job with adrenaline and giving us usb support i mean he's done great major things right so remember to support him whenever you guys have a chance go to the github and go to that link also check my twitter i might not be able to get the video ready quick but i might be able to shoot out some news like the frickler Whenever he had a chance to update his um, Adrenaline EC installer, he sent the link. So you guys can try it before if you guys want. So a big shout out to the Freakler. We can go to his GitHub and download the file. So as you can see, I'm downloading the file because I'm going to need it so that I can go ahead and transfer it to my PlayStation Vita, which is amazing. This is the best thing. I don't know how these guys do it, but they're just like idols. So now, I already downloaded the file, I'm going to get it ready, I already connected my PlayStation Vita via USB, I'm just going to drag it, as you can see I had it in the USB mode, so now we're going to just go ahead and install that VPK from the Freakler, which it will make our lives way easier you guys get to see that it's really simple guys so do you wish to install the package of course I want to now if you guys agree with that message and we press X it's pretty cool guys I'm excited So now I'm going to launch the Adrenaline EC installer 
you can see in the bottom right hand corner version 1.07 now it's going to show kind of different from the previous if you see my previous video you show the example but now it says adrenaline e custom firmware so we select that now it's going to tell us if we want to install the latest adrenaline e custom firmware release or you can downgrade as well or completely uninstall it but in this case i want to install the latest which is pretty cool so we select x now the pretty cool thing about it he went a step further and let us know which game if we have many games psp or playstation 1 games installed then he let us know which one has the actual adrenaline already so we can just select it and it'll tell us the game already has adrenaline people pvp installed continue anyway and override it of course i want to so it'll find the settings that we had if you guys followed my previous video on how to install adrenaline really easy guys we just override okay so now everything has has been prepared so we launch adrenaline look at that little logo it's pretty cool guys so now it's gonna ask us to reinstall it to the memory card so we press X if you want to install it so now it's gonna run through its cool process all the code all the information and then it's gonna tell us the firmware has been installed successfully press X to boot to the PSP XMV. So we go ahead and press X. Look at that. We have our PSP XMV, which is pretty cool. We go through the settings really quick. There you have it, guys. We have the latest version of Adrenaline. Now let's test the USB connection. You can see working from Adrenaline which is pretty awesome guys I don't know how excited this gets me but you guys can tell so now thank you to flow we press the P button or the PS button so we can get the adrenaline menu you can see some things have changed it'll give us our save data information for our games remember to change your graphics filtering to advanced double A that way you get the most and the best graphics on your adrenaline and PSP games. Also you can change the memory stick location. I will just leave it at UXO PSP EMU. Also if you have a PlayStation 4 controller, you can use it PlayStation 3. You can go back to one of my videos. I'll have that installation process as well. And once again, thanks to Flow guys. This is awesome. So if this helped, hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. As always, Gamer Rebirth out.